That was an animation made in a video game. That building is fake and made of 2D polygons. Definitely not real bricks forming real rooms with real people inside them. Hi again, guys. And sometimes life is just some doo-doo. Bad stuff happens that you can't control, or even if you could, you didn't manage to. Stuff happens sometimes that makes you either just want to yell and maul or just sigh in defeat. So today, I want to take a look at some folks who are having days that make them want to say r slash, well, that sucks. Yes, they say the full subreddit name out loud when it happens. If you don't do it, you're the weird one, not us. If you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to more people just having a nightmare of a time. And did you know only a small amount of y'all are subscribed with notifications on? If you sub and hit that bell icon, you'll never miss an upload, and you can always undo it later. I just bought a minivan from a friend a few weeks ago. Kept getting spider webs in the car and decided to bug bomb it. I found these. Okay, this is definitely super scary and might make you never want to drive a car again. But I think it's at least worth getting bit by a few of those spiders and seeing what happens. Sure, you might die, but you might also get spider superpowers that turns your cum radioactive. Meaning you give cancer to anybody you have sex with. That was a real story in a spider bed comic, by the way. Over 30 cars got flat tires on the 405 from a fallen box of nails. Man, someone out there thinks they're in a Mario Kart race with every other person on the road. They hit the mystery box and got something real good, and it turned them a little too power-up happy. They just started dropping sharp shit everywhere so that they could get ahead, and it looks like it worked too. Removed 30 people out of the race just like that. I bought some clearance sale bread. Now I know why it's on sale. <laughs> Dude, have y'all never had these before? They put that hole in the bread on purpose for you to stick your dick inside of it. Why else would holes on random objects exist? Or I guess you can put a normal edible hot dog in there if you wanted to use it for food. You know, like a fucking freak would. No, no, no. You can hear the tears in that dude's voice as he tries to pick up the ice cream and put it in the cup. The groans he was making at the beginning made it seem like the ice cream dispenser was taking a shit, and he's just imitating the constipated grunts the machine would have been making if it had text-to-speech turned on. My friend tried to fix my left Joy-Con remote without my knowledge. They now owe me a new Joy-Con remote. Seeing the Joy-Cons be specified in brackets as L made me think I was about to read an Am I the Asshole Reddit post. Seriously though, is your friend a fucking Rottweiler? Like, what could they have possibly been trying to fix? It looks like they tried eviscerating the damn thing with their teeth and peeled the hard plastic back by gnawing on it too much. This is what every single one of us is afraid it'll look like if we took a shit in the pool. You see, the reason everybody's comfortable peeing in the pool is because they can get away with it. And I'm telling you, I see right through you. You'd probably shit in the pool too if you thought no one would notice. Still, the original video went from beautiful to I think I'm gonna vomit faster than I do on a night out. Just looking at the still frame of the video on my monitor after it's done playing and seeing that browned water makes my stomach flip. It's really weird how to us, other people or animals poop is really gross and icky. But when we ourselves poop, it's stress relieving in a time that we generally cherish. It's okay when I do it, but nobody else. Had a big party this past weekend. While I was greeting guests, I forgot about the ribs on the grills. The ribs caught fire, and I had to put it out with a fire extinguisher. To me, that sounds like a fun new seasoning to try. And it happened at the perfect time, too. You have a bunch of house guests who have never eaten your wings before, who you can get an honest reaction from of what they think of your new recipe. I'd bet they'd say it's to die for, and then literally die right after. I put some oil on the stove to fry some chicken before bed. I'm honestly not sure what I'm looking at here. This looks like one of those stroke simulations images. You know, the ones where you can almost feel like you recognize stuff in the picture, but you can't just put your finger on it. I'm just gonna assume the stove exploded or something, based on the shrapnel. Either that, or this is a hoarder's apartment and the caption's completely unrelated. It's cool. Yeah, it's 56 degrees outside. I'll wait. 24% charging slowly. Full in 72 days. I mean, I know it's best for the phone's integrity to take its time. It shouldn't feel pressure to go faster than it's comfortable with, so it doesn't burn itself out. But come on, man! There's a limit to what's considered within reason. Nothing quite like peeling off the plastic on your brand new TV. Man, having something that's meant to feel satisfying fuck up halfway through the process. Like, say you're watching a console restoration video and then it starts buffering halfway through a cleaning sweep. But a step above that, when the satisfying thing turns into something that actually makes your day tangibly worse, it's a catastrophe. You had the highest expectation of this thing feeling real good. And then, as a result of trying it, you break some expensive shit, bringing you down to the lowest low you can feel. Here's your Have you dropped any green shit off those trays? No. Here's your sweet tea. It'd be funny if they play in that video, like the dude starts recording and specifically says the you ever dropped a drink question? And that's the cue for the guy across from him to break the waiter's shin so that he has a comedically timed fuck up that breaks his perfect no spill record. A huge first time embarrassment caught on camera. <laughs> Oh, 
Now you understand why your luggage gets messed up at the airport. Dude, that thing shot out like my nut does after looking at FNAF animatronics too long. It was popping out like hungry, hungry hippos, but it just flicks the balls with its tongue instead of swallowing them. I legit thought the reason your luggage got the shit beat out of it was because people loading it on the plane just threw it in there because they have a lot of things to get through. I had no idea this was also going on behind closed doors. What else are they doing in the back over there without us knowing? Luggage baptisms? Every slot machine in the New York City Resort Casino froze and crashed. This is definitely a loss if you were up, or even if you just had put money in those machines then it's just poof gone but this also could be the push some people need to get out of a gambling spiral they were thinking about finally quitting their gambling addiction like a pussy and then the game crashes so out of spite they take it as a challenge from god to persevere and hit it big the next time they bet their daughter's college tuition on blackjack hurricane ivan blew the roof off my house and destroyed almost everything i own okay this is obviously without a doubt a tragedy i hope the person whose house this is is able to recover and get back on their feet but god damn ivan is one hell of a barber look how how clean he took off that top, the fade and everything. That house is practically circumcised with how clean the cut is. It just took the roof and left everything else. It's like you remove the ceiling texture in a Source Engine game. That is a perfect Metal Gear Rising worthy slice. I stayed at work for the storm. This is the road I take home. This guy must not play Bed Wars. If he did, he would have just bridged across to work every day instead of using some lousy car. Uh, this is the reverse of the situation, but a very small and stupid part of me wants to work a 9 to 5 job in a disaster prone area where infrastructure damage is semi, but not not too common. That way I can have this happen to me and call into work saying, er, boss, I don't think I can come in today. The road's gone. <laughs> the laugh track plays and then my boss yells at me all mad saying I'm making excuses. Then I send them a snarky video of me diving in the new pool where the street used to be and I'm like, I must be very dedicated to my skipping work then. I blew up the bridge committing an act of terror to get a day off. <laughs> A stronger laugh track plays. I might have maladaptive daydreaming. I just dropped my DS that I've had since I was little, and I'm not sure they're making them anymore. That is a real shame, little bro. Could not be me. A lot of y'all have commented over the years about this 3DS just sitting proudly on display at the back of all my videos, and I've had this little trooper for about a decade now. I am so scared of fucking this thing up, I almost don't want to turn it on or open it. It is like a family heirloom. My grandkids might be able to buy real estate with this someday. I might have overfilled my knife holder. I had no idea they made knife holders like that. One that just makes form-fitting holes. It reminds me of those metal hand mold toys that I would always stick my face into as a kid so I could see what freakish face stuck screaming I could make on the other side. One time I tried to keep my eyes open while I did it and I poked myself and I started crying. <laughs> I have no idea if the video quality is as dog shit as it was in the video player on Reddit, but if you couldn't tell, she dropped her phone out of her back pocket and it fell into god knows where. I don't know if you could even convince me to get on this thing in the first place. Like, laying down in a chain link fence over the abyss from the spirit world and avatar? I'm good. But bringing my phone indoor wallet with me? I would have put that shit in a cubby somewhere. I would simply do better. Hi, stuff. Oh, oh, here's my weed. That. That's the real reason they came back to their waist-deep pool house. They could not do without the Zaza. They're gonna smoke that shit even if it's waterlogged. All the items, expensive electronics, priceless family photos, last memories you have of deceased loved ones, the ashes of people you care about, all of that is replaceable. Good weed is not. I picked an unfortunate time to buy my new glasses. Ah, that's a shame. The Dahmer glasses are cursed for at least another month. To be fair, the reason this is bad isn't because no one will want to be near you now. It's bad because all the worst types of people will want to be near you now. So many weirdos out there keep talking about how hot Jeffrey Dahmer is in the Netflix series. I'm not watching, so I don't really know. What I do know is you could have dodged all the morality issues by just picking anything else Evan Peters has been in. Those are the types that might try to saddle up to you because they see Dahmer, the person they apparently like, in your new poorly timed frames. I came back to check the house after the neighborhood flooded from the hurricane. I was not expecting my car to look like this. Bro, your car looks like it survived a completely different natural disaster. The paint got burned off and the seats are turned to ash. If you showed me this pic compared to the environment around it, I would have thought somebody towed a car that got caught in a California forest fire all the way over to some random suburb in Orlando. You just got the worst of both worlds, man. Like, fucked on both ends of the country. Finally, everyone's gone. I can get my chores done. Listen, man, this is certainly inconvenient. You won't get to take the easy way down, but there's literally a fallen tree over there. If you played Assassin's Creed by now, which you should have, you'd know that if something looks relatively fluffy and is below an elevated surface you can stand on, then it's safe to jump into head first. Real life is literally based off video games, dipshit. I thought
thought I was the only one using the soap. Seriously, who the fuck does this? That is obviously nasty, but on first glance, using my expert brain, the hairs on that soap do come from different parts of the body. What I can report is that while some of these hairs may be pubes that you've now rubbed on yourself, some of it is definitely ass hair too. So it's likely a dude in your household is for sure watching their ass with quality. They're pretty much ahead of the social curve on this one. Take what you can get. My neighbor got their fence stolen right off the posts and hung up this strongly worded message. To the worthless asshole that stole the fence, you are the bottom feeder in a bag of shit. You are selfish, ignorant, and a waste of space on this earth. I cast a hex on you and your family. May you never shit again and die a horrible death. Good God, he wrote that like somebody shot their dog in front of him. I started feeling attacked while reading that, and I didn't even do anything. If somebody's already having a bad day and sees that message while walking past the yard, even if it's not about them, it's gonna fuck them up so bad they won't be able to get out of bed the next day. Honestly, it's made it so I can't continue this video. So I'm gonna wrap this one up here. That card I mentioned should be on screen. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. There are a lot of these in the wild, and this video was a lot of fun to do, so if you want to see more, let me know. Remember, don't go after anyone I talked about today because that's cringe, and this was all meant in good fun. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I have more problems to cause on purpose.